Hello everyone, it's the Breet. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing of the new Tamagotchi Sanrio Mix Pink Edition. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. So I wanted to do a, an unboxing of this one in particular since it's a special edition, but also um, I'm not really sure how rare these might be in the future because Toys R Us only allowed each person to buy one. So with companies like third-party sellers or third-party deputy services like Baiyi and Rinkia, um, they were only allowed to buy one. I actually originally tried to get mine off of Baiyi and uh, they said they had already met their limit, so somebody had already bought it through Baiyi. So I went through, I ran to Rinkia and bought this as quickly as I could, so um, just in case they ran out. So um, I really like this, I think it's cute, and it's more for collecting purposes, but of the mix line, this is probably my favorite. Um, I know a lot of us are very tired of the mix line. Bandai's pretty much beaten this horse to death, and uh, so to speak. So, because there's been... Um, way too many versions. The anniversary mix has come out and people are really ready for a new uh, Tamagotchi. But I thought I would unbox this uh, for a little fun and uh, you know you might not see this around very much. So if you do get a chance to get one and want to pay perhaps the extra price for it, uh, you, you might want to pick this up if you're a, uh, an avid collector. So let's get started unboxing it. Let's take a look at the box. I think it's really cute. It comes with this lanyard. One of uh, the favorite things with collectors is that on the Sanrio mixes you can get Gudetama. And Gudetama is really popular right now. So it's showing you how to attach the lanyard. And then up here it talks about that it's the Toys R Us exclusive edition. And this is for the 20th anniversary, since Tamagotchi has now been out for 20 years. So, let's open this. And I've actually been collecting Tamagotchi since they first came out in the United States. So, it's been since 1997, um, was when they hit the U.S., so I have officially been collecting for 20 years. It's, um... Even when the virtual pet craze died down, uh, I continued to try to convince people to uh, trade me their Tamagotchis for random items. I, I, I have to admit, I was kind of successful on some Giga Pets. Okay. Don't want to bend that up, but I don't think it was going to open any other way. Oh, that lanyard is cute! So, it looks like here's the instruction booklet. Looks pretty basic like the other Sanrio. So, oh, we've got more tape. I've noticed on these newer versions that they pretty much like to obliterate these packages with tape. And I'm trying to cut this while looking through the camera screen, so this isn't exactly easy. Um, come on. But I've noticed that they do love tape. I mean, look at the old Tamagotchi versions. Those things were taped to death. I don't want to cut the package. No. This is super entertaining watching me cut tape, huh? <laughs> So, okay, let's take a look at this lanyard. Uh, if you can hear that, that's my cat growling. <laughs> she doesn't like other cats. This is really cute, so... I wonder how you get it... Oh, the package is sealed, so great. You get a chance to try to not cut this lanyard. Oh, this is... This is fun. Thanks, Bandai. There we go. Oh, trying to do this through a screen. This is cute. Okay, so we've got 
these characters on here. Oh, and it shows the mixes between that you can get between characters. Come on, focus. Focus camera. There we go. I guess me can not moving around would help. This is so incredibly cute. So it looks like that's a repeat of the characters, but it's really cute. It's got this little snap. I see I have a hard time using these lanyards because they get so dirty. So I used to use um, some of the ones that came with those old connection cases, the, the like plush cases, and it got dirty and I'm like, well, if it's a collector's item, I really don't want to get it dirty, so I might not use that. And here it is. Let's see if we can get the light closer here. There we go. So there you can see the cute face plate. So just as comparison, so here's the pink shell. Looks like it's got the same pearlescent look that many of the color Thomas have. And here's, this is the yellow version, which this is the one that you can find at any store that sells these or sold these. I'm not sure if they're still uh, for sale in Japan, but you can find these easily. These are pretty much everywhere, and this is the exclusive Toys R Us version. So you can see that the background of the faceplate is pretty much the same. It's just this outer shell that is a different color. Um, aesthetically, I think I like the yellow a little better, but I know there's other people that are big fans of pink and were pretty excited about this because they didn't have the yellow already. Um, I'm just really big into Sanrio, so I went ahead and got both. And maybe I have a problem being a collector. Don't judge me. So, yeah, I really, really like the Sanrio mix. I think if you get any of them, that's, that's the one to get if you really like cute characters. So uh, that's all for this unboxing video. Um, I will put a link in the description for my Sanrio mix guide. So if you want to check that out on the website, um, it's got a uh, full translation on how to play these. And um, since I'm going on vacation soon, I'm hoping to fill out more charts. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.